How to install Pixel Experience ROM with OSS Vendor based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and we have a new build of Pixel Experience based on Android 11 for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now this latest build is based on OSS Vendor. What is OSS Vendor? OSS stands for open source software and the vendor file which they are using is not dependent on Xiaomi or MIUI. The previous build had been using MIUI Vendor and Perf Kernel. However, this build is using OSS Vendor. This does change the installation process a little bit which is why we are making this video. And yes, MIUI vendor builds have been discontinued, which means that all future builds of Android 11, Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro will be based on OSS vendor. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed next thing make sure you have a backup of your persist partition videos for all of these can be found in the description of this video next thing as you can see i do have my redmi k20 pro which is running miui 12.0.4.0 based on android 10 however the process will remain the same if you are on a custom rom which is based on aosp you just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you Next thing, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device because the developer does recommend that you perform a format data after you install this ROM for two reasons. One, we are switching to Android 11 and secondly, we are moving from one vendor style to another vendor style which is why a format data is mandatory. Now an important thing to note here is that format data is mandatory only when you are installing this ROM for the first time. After that, when you update it, format data should not be required until and unless the developer mentions it in the ROM change log. Next thing, we'll go into settings, password and security, remove your password, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, we can go back, go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into account sensing and remove your google account those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you won't have the option of removing your me account once we have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once we are rebooting our device because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not so for me UI you'll go into settings password and security and privacy here it is encryption and credentials phone not encrypted this means my redmi k20 pro is decrypted phone not encrypted means it is decrypted those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you can go into settings security and if i tap on advanced here it is you can see encryption and credentials it says encrypted which means this other device which i have is encrypted right now now based on the fact whether your device is encrypted or not you may or may not have to flash disable force encryption which brings us to the question that what are the files which we need now all the files which we need are linked in the description of this video so for starters you need the pixel experience rom file itself and since this is using oss vendor this is the only file you need so this has your vendor system boot and g apps are also baked in with pixel experience roms next in if your device is decrypted then you also need disable force encryption and whether you want your device encrypted or decrypted that is a personal preference now in my case my redmi k20 pro is decrypted so i will need disable force encryption next thing we need to do is boot into twrp so first up turn off your device once the device is turned off 
press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Now if you get a message about unmodified system partition just swipe to allow modifications. Next up what we do is we'll go into wipe advanced wipe select Dalvik cache system render and data and then swipe to wipe. If you get a message about unable to decrypt FBE devices just ignore it. Next up tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the internal storage of my sd card or the root directory the first file which we are going to select is the pixel experience rom itself and next up those of you whose device was decrypted like my device was decrypted i will do add more zips and select the disable force encryption file and then swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully we can scroll up and as you can see here it is we are flashing pixel experience it says patching system image patching vendor image patching firmware images everything was fine script succeeded result was one next up we are flashing disable force encryption and of course those of you whose device was decrypted only you have to flash disable force encryption if your device was encrypted you should not even have downloaded the file in the first place for dfe make sure it is patching some f stab and vendor slash etc and now we will tap on the home button now what in case there was no file patched well then you'll go into mount make sure that vendor is mounted go back to home install and then flash disable force encryption file one more time and this time around it should patch some file in vendor slash etc next up we need to perform a format data so we'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier in the video format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things next up tap on the home button go into reboot and select system in case you get a message about no os installed feel free to ignore the message and just swipe to reboot and as you can see we do have the google boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means we are going to boot into pixel experience based on android 11 now the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen and let me skip the initial setup real quick and there it is we are on the home screen we can go into settings and then let us go into security here you will see my phone is not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed without any issues next up let us go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will see i am running pixel experience rom based on android 11 security patches from february 2021 and there it is peeps that is how you install pixel experience rom based on android 11 with oss vendor on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you